In Dubai, temperatures can reach a blistering 49 degrees Celsius. And that heat posed a challenge for engineers and architects working with steel. Metal, like most materials, expands when you heat it up. Think about it, if you've got the lid stuck on a jar, warm it up a bit and the metal lid will expand and you can free it. That's a good thing. But if you're working on giant metal trusses, and they're expanding and contracting according to the temperature at different times of day, and you're trying to fit them together in a very precise way, it's going to be tricky. The Burj Al Arab was constructed using a steel exoskeleton, an external frame. The six steel trusses that support the building's weight are up to 85 metres long. That's longer than a jumbo jet. In the desert heat, the lengths of steel could expand by five centimetres, which was critical during construction when everything had to come together exactly. These two steel triangles will represent the huge steel trusses on the Burj. And they really are huge, 80 metres long, but the principles will be the same even at this scale. So they've been machined very accurately, so they can be fixed together using these fixings. That goes in there, that mounts in the hole. And one here. So that's my steel structure, firmly fixed together. Fine. But it hasn't yet had to cope with the problems of desert heat and the problems of heat expansion associated with it. Could be waiting a while here for some desert heat, but that's okay, we can bring our own. Gas axe, please. Thank you. While he's firing that up, I'm going to remove one of these fixings because I want to see the effect of that thermal expansion. That was, I think we can agree, a hot day. But if I try and put my original fixing back in, line it up, remember this machine so the holes should align, and, oh, surprise, surprise, they don't. There's absolutely no way is that going to go through there because the metal's expanded, the holes ended up in the wrong place. When the top metal bar undergoes thermal expansion, it becomes longer, but the bottom one stays the same. This means that the holes in each no longer align. If this were 80 times bigger, imagine the effect it would have then. But what can you do about it? The steel trusses are going to grow and shrink depending upon the time of day and the temperature. That will happen. It could be disastrous. You could end up with a crooked tower. The engineers found an ingenious solution thanks to the cam of an engine. Cams are used, of course, in car engines. You've probably heard of a camshaft. Well, here is one. This is the top of the engine. This assembly here is to operate the valves, which would be in the cylinder bores below. They have to open and close very quickly to let fuel and air in and exhaust gases out. That's where the cams come in. So I'm going to be the engine turning here. And as I rotate the camshaft, you can see the cams move eccentrically. These lobes where they bulge and stick out. Push down on this assembly here open the valve, and then shut it. It's a clever principle and one that's been used for a long, long time. The off-centre bulge of a cam allows it to open and close engine valves on each rotation of the camshaft. The builders of the Burj Al Arab borrowed from that idea to overcome the problems caused by extreme desert heat. This fixing. It's called an eccentric fixing. It's been designed using, well, the same sort of principle. This is like a cam inside this hole here. And that gives us the flexibility we need to cope with this heat expansion. So let's put it in, line it up roughly in the big hole there. And if I drop that in, we can manoeuvre it around. And there it is. That lines up perfectly. That's the connection between the engine's cam and our fixings for building in the desert. The eccentric fixing allows the top hole to be moved, 
so that no matter how much the steel expands, it can still be aligned to the bottom hole. Engineers at the hotel, taking their inspiration from engine cams, designed bespoke movable fixings that allowed them to install the massive trusses accurately, despite the thermal expansion. Once installed, everything was welded firmly in place. Now the building expands and contracts as a whole, keeping it in shape.